All right, welcome back to Video Bros. Um, Kevin's here for once for us on for Windbreaker. Us during the series, yeah. Hey, I've been here plenty for Super Luigi, okay? Give yeah, me some slack. All I'm saying, the first time you're here for us to do the Wind Waker series. And honestly, I'm um, actually kind of excited to see how this I want to check something really quick. Because I hear it's much more different than the Wii U. It and is. So it's, far, it's very different than the um, Wii yeah, so far I had to agree on um, it. Um, God, don't say anything yet. I want to try something really quick. Oh, whoops. Don't say anything yet. I want to try something really quick. Okay. This is what I want. Apparently, I, just to let you guys know... This is my channel a little bit different now since I updated the um oh, fuck, I, hate I updated sound. the what do you call it the the program that we use to record. So then we record our audio, so it might sound a little bit different now. We can put in as much of a gain input gain now as we want, so this could be a, we can record a lot of shit now, hear a lot of sounds on here. A lot of sounds like if I were to fart right now, you would hear it. And if um, you would, not. I wouldn't want to see it and hear the sound effects of me strangling you as I choke to death from your fucking fart. Okay, Kevin. We do not want to turn it into a confrontation. This show does not... Because you keep doing it in my friggin' car every time I take you everywhere. Not every time. I mean, it's about half okay, okay, okay. Well, about half the time. Okay, guys. You know, we don't want to turn it into a confrontation. We want this to be a happy I'm episode. I'm just saying, if he does it for real, I'm gonna choke a bitch. That's all I'm saying. We're well, gonna name his episode Fart. We're gonna name his episode Fart Bros. <laughs> <laughs> Farting. And, like, if you actually fart now, we're gonna go up to the camera and do it. Up to, up to the microphone, I mean. Speaking of which, you know what we should put on towards the end of the video? What? Cake farts. Oh, man. My cake God, farts. no, we're not. If anyone has not seen Cake Farts, you have to see it. It is hilarious. I'll post the link in the description. All right. And just let you guys know, it's not what you think. It's actually not as dirty as I think it is, but it's kind of kind of weird, and it's only for 18 and older. Do not watch it. Yeah. Oh, no, no, unless you're, actually, no, between six, I'm going to say 16 and older, if you're mature enough, and you, you don't fucking, like, laugh at shit like that, like, laugh at, like, uh, immature things like that and sexual stuff, then you go ahead and watch it. Don't tell your parents. There's actually, don't tell your parents. I think there's... This video actually yo, was supposed wait, to wait, be wait. around the time when I believe it was Two Girls, One Cup was around. Yeah, right? this... Uh, Game Grumps brought that video to being. I don't... No one really heard of it because of Two Girls, One Cup. And that Ooh, video... Oh, what's happening? Over, who's, who's this? What's that video overshadowed the popularity of Cake Farts. Wait, do we actually have to do this? I don't remember doing this when we played. I was gonna say this before, but you guys were talking. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, this is a place... I'm going here early, so I don't have to wait in the series. This is, I think, where you can get one of the pieces of the Triforce. Oh, oh nice. Okay. So, why well, are you getting that Triforce? In the original game, it's a piece of a, it's a Triforce map for a piece of Triforce, but most of the pieces in this game were replaced, of the map, you were replaced by actually just going and getting the piece of the Triforce. Right. Right? Which one is this? There's only, like, there's only, like, maps to three pieces in this Wait, game. Wait, why are you doing the Wind Waker this? Triforce piece you have to. to be. That's a symbol of the four. Oh, okay. There are pieces to form the Triforce of Courage. You need that. This is, like, one piece of it now. So why are you getting Yeah, they're all broken into fragments. Alright. I'm just putting it aside so I don't have to later. Alright, that's fine. In the series. That's fine. You, you're here right well, now. When why waste your time? Yeah. When, no, dude, it takes a few seconds. I know I'm saying, I'm saying you're here now. Why waste your time when you do it later? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, no, it's a Triforce chart at least. Yeah, three of them have charts, and the rest <laughs> you just find right as the, the pieces. The original game was not like that. The original game, you had to get all eight charts, get them all deciphered, which costs like almost 300 rupees per chart. Be, and like Tingle would charge you that much. Yeah, Tingle's Tingle's a Jew. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> Tingle's a Jew. <laughs> he's a he's a, he's a thirty five year old gay fairy Jew. That's all I'm gonna Ooh, say. You fucking shit. Okay, so now you were selling the outside island. Um, while we're doing that, do you want to talk about the show that we went to last night, Brent? Uh, last Friday, Brennan? Oh uh, well, actually, we went there on Sunday. On oh, Sunday, yeah, it's my bad. Sorry. What show? Oh, we we we, we, we um, were going to see Mobile Death Camp, but my brother uh, and his right. girlfriend. We're like, we have to well, get up there. We're like, well, yeah. Sam is school in the morning, and we were like, well, if the band that's coming on next is a mobile death camp, I guess we'll fucking go. So we got and, there, and we never some old death camp place. So I'm like, well, that was a disappointment show and a waste of my fucking time. That was definitely wasting my time too, because the only reason why we actually went there was to go see mobile death camp, but also Brandon's brother Christian, his friend was in a band called. Called um, Vileborn. Vileborn. If you ever, if you never heard of them, do not up, listen to them. I'm gonna say, look them up for yourself. And we're not. I'm not gonna tell you how. I'm not gonna show you anything. I'm gonna tell you right now. They play. I'm gonna say right now. They have. They have good vocals. I'll tell you that much. The guy has good vocals, but the time that he was playing, he was playing three of his own songs. <clears throat> then he came out of nowhere and said, "Oh, we're doing a Metallica song." Who the t Who the bell, the bell tolls? Who the bell tolls? And, and fucking butchered that shit. And then. Sorry, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a picture up here. 
I'm gonna put a picture. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna interrupt you for some narration. Okay, fine. Have you noticed, Broseph? Morning has not broken since we arrived at Greyfish Island, the land that was so ravaged by monsters. It is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Valu spoke of? Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. We can speak with Jabin after you do. So, let me ask you a question real quick. You sound like an 80-year-old rapist when you this. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Like a dramatic, like, old, like, so let me ask you a question here. Just like oh, a dramatic. This is on, on the topic of what he just said. So the, so the, so the, line, so the, so the red line said that, that time is frozen. Or it seemed like time is frozen. Does that mean like if I go into someone's house, I'm going to see someone taking a shit, like, just frozen right there? <laughs> yeah, probably. Like, like someone went to go reach for toilet paper and, like, the shit came out and I'm going to see that? Well, there, you don't even see any bathrooms. I I, I I know. There's, there's no bathroom in this game. Look how different the house looks in Wind Waker She Kevin than in the original. It's vehicle. definitely a lot better, honestly. Hell yeah. No. Oh, yeah. and look, this part's so sad. Watch. Um. Uh. You you want to do the narration with these people? Oh no! Please no! No no! You don't have to. Wait 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 wait. You don't have to. What do you call it? Ariel, don't go. Don't leave. <laughs> Don't leave your poor old grandma <laughs> all alone. <laughs> now you sound like you have a broken vagina. All right. Uh, and I'm like, well, okay. See ya. Okay. Bye, all right. Grandma. Let me let me finish my. She told me not to leave. I'm like, well, bye, all right. Let, let, let me finish our story now. Our story. So we went. We went to. We went to a concert slash gig show, and we saw a band called Vileborn. One of Chris, Brandon Brothers, Christian's friend, had it with a band Vileborn. I'm, I'm gonna tell you again. He had good vocals and everything. But he, he butchered up a Metallica song that uh, one of my... And he butchered Megadeth, too. Yes. The last song they played of Megadeth was The System Has Failed, which is from one of the... Well, okay, okay I'm going to say, I'm gonna say now, that was song terrible. wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but when which he actually... Which one? The System Has Failed or From the Belt Holes? No, both of the songs weren't bad, weren't bad until he actually started death growling and that shit and like, started yeah, screaming. Yeah, I'm, like, oh, I'm like, why would you do that in a Metallica or Megadeth song? Then, that did not work out. Dave Mustaine and James Hetfield that never did that in any out. of their songs. Yeah, yeah. Why would so, you do that? so what happened was, he Brandon goes to the bathroom <coughs> and he's like, I gotta stop listening to them. And he goes to the bathroom, right, to look at some tissues or a toilet paper or whatever, wipe his nose. He comes back, yeah, like he sits on the couch, him. and then I'm gonna put up a, I'm gonna put up a picture um, in about two seconds. Do you see that whirlpool in the back? Oh, it's like, hey guys, yeah. what's up? Hold on. I'm gonna put a picture in two seconds about when we slipped about the about what 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 just happened. He sent me a text message and it was the funny shit ever. I'm in the middle of taking. Oh yeah. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle of just getting up there because Christian cause Christian wanted me to go up, go up there and throw a mosh pit, whatever. And Brendan's yeah, like, he, I'm, he was trying to pressure us to mosh. I know. He tried to pressure us to put, in, put into, a, into a mini mosh pit with only two guys. And I'm like, I'm not doing that shit. I don't start that shit. And in the meantime. Brandon, oh, wow, Brandon comes out of nowhere I'm and sends me a text message right here and says, fucking, oh, they sound like disturbed mix from my ball sack. <laughs> 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 and, and she's like, I'm just listening to him like, oh my god, that was the funniest shit I've ever heard. Wow. That, that made my whole, that made that whole concert a torn down better. Wow. Really? <laughs> I could not stop well, laughing. Do you think Mike Aquino would have loved that if I if he was there for that? Well, if, if he, he subscribed to us, right? Yeah, he watches the show. Yeah, so he's gonna love this now. Hours, hours, and even the next day <laughs> after I see that I post, when he posts videos on uh, in the group that like I'll post the videos that <coughs> the TBR and stuff of any of the videos like. I see it would say se like a several people, <coughs> several people have seen this, and that's all. No people watch the video, and it's like m most of the time Mike Aquino is in them. I just can't believe. It'll say like Mike Aquino, Stephanie Noble, Nick Bentley, Jack Donnelly, yeah. Chris Campbell, all my friends that like watch the show. Yeah. Um, but I couldn't believe you sent me that. It's like it's just it's like this shared mix of my ball sack. <laughs> this this is the first fairy fountain in the game. You wait, we didn't find a fairy. We found oh, a no, no, we people, fountain. Brennan is not a what? huge fan of the fairy fountain, as yeah. you can see. Beforehand, remember you found one in the bo you found one in a bottle. Oh, that was something different. That's why I was looking at like it's yeah. seventeen Sorry. years old. We we played we played. Play okay, I'm getting confused with another this file is, this is, that I played. Uh, let me think. This is either a... I think this is a bomb upgrade. Or, or, a, or a fairy. Or, or a rupee upgrade. Wait, do, Oh, wasn't there... Isn't there one I, that... I think this is a bomb one. No, no this is a rupee upgrade. Yeah. Isn't there one that, that upgrades your now, health also? What? 
Isn't there one that upgrades your health? Or gives you full health? No. You're thinking of magic. There's one that doubles your magic meter. Oh, okay. That, that's the fairy in the game that you don't find in the fountain. You have to defeat a big Octo to rescue it. On, All right. On 2i Reef. So. And um, then it thanks you by giving you, like, doubles your magic meter. So, what I was saying. Is very necessary. What I was saying before, though. After he sent me that text message, <laughs> that was the funniest thing I've ever heard. Like, that, that made my show 20 times. They made the show 20 times better. And you know, when we made the show, we made it even funnier. Right after they, after he, uh, after they played, right? There's another another band came on, and then they, and then we, then we thought afterwards, um, well, Death Camp gonna come on after them, but apparently they didn't. And the dancing mailbox. And you know what was funny about that, that whole that whole that whole experience? We the band that we saw, like everyone left after Battleborn after Battleborn left. Like it was it was just that bad. They all everyone had to leave. Wow. It was just me. They're like fuck this. Slim it was here. just me, Brandon. Brandon, brother Christian. Want to go to Jersey? You want to go to Jersey? <laughs> no, it was me, Brandon, Brandon, brother Christian, and and Christian, um, girlfriend Sam. You want to go get high together? And like, sure, let's go. And like one guy. Yeah, fuck this bitch. One guy and and, and maybe and, and, and a girl. Hey, look, Gannon's mom again. I was just gonna say, hey guys, look, it's Gannon's mother. <laughs> um, let's see if it likes me attacking it. And you Hi, know, Brandon, why are you getting shanked by uh, Link for? And you know what's really hilarious that would really happen? The band that ah, ah, ah. The, the band that came on after. I don't know. I don't. You want to hear something, Kevin? Hey, geez, that's I'll, really I'll, hilarious. I'll talk to you later. Stop trying to kill hey, me. Hey, Brandon, remember this? The band that came on after that came out after Bioborn, right? There are their guitarists. I swear to you, not Christian came and brought this up though. I swear to you, not. We're gonna put up a picture up here also. Uh, our friend Ryan and our friend Sean, right? Yeah. And then the, the guitarist. This is after you pointed out. And no, after the Christian. The same thing. After Christian pointed it out first, and then I pointed out it looks. It looks. He looked exactly like how if Ron, the, the guitarist in that band looked exactly how like if if not viable in some other band. No, after after viable, yeah, the guitarist thing. looked exactly like if if um, Sean and Ryan were morphed together into one person. I wow. swear to you not. Really? We're, we're gonna put up a, a, a picture over here with with both of their faces, and then we're gonna show you the picture of the of the actual um what do you call it? The guy. Of the Shrine. actual guy yeah. in there. We named him Shrine. Wow. Shrine. <laughs> I'm gonna have to show you this after. I think came up with the name. I'm gonna have to show you that after after this episode. <laughs> yeah. So I went there to the mountain to get the upgrade for the rupees, but now I'm give. I set a free of fairy around Grandma to heal her. And she thanks me by giving me elixir soup, um, which looks like piss in a bottle. <laughs> it's piss in the bottle. Um, let me ask you. It looks more like pee in a bottle yes. than the original game. It, it kind of does. does honestly. In this game, it looks more like soup. In the original game, it looks a lot like pee in a bottle. It does. It it refills your health and also has two helpings in it, and uh, so you can drink from it twice each time you get it. Um, to drink piss. Let me and ask you. It's like, and each time you drink it, like it refills your health and like doubles your damage until you get hit. Once. That's nice. So uh, after you take it, if you get hit once, then the double in your attack like is um, gone. Quick question: Are we going back to the ship now? Oh uh, yes. Okay, so it's, I just wanted to go to the mountain to get the upgrade. Okay, so when we go to the ship, we're gonna and end go to Grandma to gonna, get the. We'll, okay, when we go to the ship, we're gonna go and we're gonna end the episode. Well, actually, first I want to get the pearl and then we'll end the episode. No, it's, dude, it takes a few seconds. It's just a right, short fine. little cutscene. Okay, right, fine. Look at the boat yawning. He's like, Ah, where is Brosef? Are you ready? Bitch, no. If that is the case, then we must search for the cave around the back side of Outset where Javin is said to hide. Now you sound like a foreign guy who was having trouble speaking English. No, but he sounded pretty good, though. He sounded he sound like, like the actual ship would actually I talk. always thought that's how you talked when I was little in the original game. Treasure what, like he had a freaking problem speaking English? No, he just has like a loud voice like that. Huh. Um, was episode 13 that when I, when I told you about how... How how in, in in the game Spire of the Dragon everyone, er, in, er, er, all the all the people in that game actually talk their own own actual actually talk at, at the dialogue showed up on the screen. Yeah, you mentioned that. Yes, I remember. We have to show Kevin that because I remember when I, the funny funny thing, how how um what's it called? How um, what what money bag says in that game? Oh, what, yeah. the, what the password is? Whoa whoa! Come on, you got this. You got this. Come on, you got it. Let's go. Wait, why is he not he's not doing enough damage? Yeah, yeah. You gotta hit it in the right spot. Are you, well, you're hitting it on the top, though. I can tell you that. I know, but you have to. Yeah, but it's not damage, not dying though. I mean, it's not it's getting a short. Hits. Oh, what? That's goes. never happened to me in the actual game. Hmm. First time for everything. 
I guess you failed. Well, let's try again. You didn't you guys you get enough times. It was like going so fast for me, I think it's because I hopped in the center right before. Well, try to do it in the center, try to do it in the center. No, okay, there you go. Nice. No, because yeah, that's yeah. why that happened. Alright. Because I hopped in the center. And you usually... Now you have to still keep on firing at it. Oh, because it you have to break the slab. Jabin is in there and he gives you the third pearl. Yeah. Beautiful. Back we'll open the cave. Points. And now the whirlpool disappears. Out of, out of nowhere. Yeah. Open the cave. Whirlpool the disappears. same music plays when you run into a big octo, and if you get sucked up by the octo, he shoots you like not too far from where you found him, <laughs> and then you can just run into him again. It's like, oh, there you are. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I know. It, it looks so freaking better than in the first game. It's like such so majestic looking. It looks like a place where you'd find a legendary Pokemon if this was a place in a Pokemon game. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm saying, but you have to listen to me anyway. Well, not indeed, Jabin. I am pleased to see that you are safe. <laughs> yes, it seems Gammon has returned. There can be no other explanation. Um, excuse me, ship. Can you inform me what's going on? I don't understand what you're saying. All <laughs> right. <laughs> they definitely hired a. Unfortunately, link. that is not so. Bitch, they definitely tell me what's hired going a on. Lingu linguistics ex expert for this. Well, this is the same audio from the from the actual old the game. The one I brought has no connection. Yeah, to the like the grammar, the writing, and the and ways. And yet, I sense and great and promise in the courage that this one possesses. It's, like, it's crazy. I love how this game was actually a secret before they actually revealed it to, to, to me. I do! It is the only way! Will you please stop? It's starting to piss no, me that's, off. No, that's what I do for the series. Oh, come on, I mean, it's pissing me off, seriously. Well, Dude, you have to deal with it. Well, that's what I do with the whole series. You know what? Next time we I'll do this... I'll just do it for this game and not the whole series. No, we do it. That's what we're we do, doing. We do it any time we play the game. We definitely do it for this game. Yeah. All right. Well, get the pearl. Well, just this game, at least. Well, after the king talks to us, I'm going to save him. Um, we're gonna leave the cave first, then we're gonna say, then we're gonna, um... Well, you have to do that first. Well, I'm saying we have to leave the, we're actually gonna leave the cave, though. We're not well, gonna stay it's, in it. Well, you leave on your own, so. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. And he asks you something, I remember this in Hillian, about Zelda, and he tells you about the curse being broken by the pearl. So, that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. And he has something like that with Zelda. Dude, I can't remember what I'm saying. I'm gonna carry something on the bloodline of Zelda. I believe I have. Again, please fucking inform what's going what on. His nose looks like, is, he, is he even having a nose? Looks like it, no, there's like two blood nostrils. Spots. Nose is like, Is he like bleeding or something? No. <laughs> Alright, you fucking leave it up, tell me what the fuck going on. I'm gonna have to figure it out myself. You only talk to him once in the game, but Valerie, you talked to you twice. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Javin gave us, so morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all of the pearls. Are you ready, Brosif? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your sea chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Javin has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the pearls ahead will be greater than any you have faced thus far. You shall finish any business you have here on outset right now, so that you ha shall have not have any regrets later. Alright. Uh, in the next episode of Video Bros, we're going to set the pearls in their places and head to wherever we go next, the next dungeon. Alright. Well, I know what it is, but not everybody does.